Hi everybody, welcome to the Import Motoring Channel. My name is Troy, I'm gonna be your host again for today. And today we're gonna to discuss my 1996 F350, otherwise known as Cinderella. I did not name her Cinderella, my family named her Cinderella, but the name is stuck and so we'll run with it. So a little bit of history about this truck. I bought this truck back in 2015 from Insurance Auto Auction. It was a donation for the Veterans Honor Bound. And so to me, it was nice because I got a truck that I really wanted and I got to help uh, the Veterans Fund out. And that's to me is giving back in, in whatever way I can. So again, I, I really enjoyed this truck. A little history about me is I own a lot of different cars, but I my passion is probably these OBS body style Fords. This is my ninth truck I've owned uh, over the years of regular cabs, extended cabs, crew cabs, uh, two wheel drives, four wheel drives, you name it. I've had all kinds of configurations with this truck. I've had gas, I've had diesel. Uh, this one is the one, this, the, this is my last one and I don't know if I'm going to replace this one or not unless somebody wants to make me an offer I can't refuse on it. But let's get into the truck itself. Uh, this particular truck we went through and we did the clear headlights and the clear marker lights on it. I'm running LED bulbs uh, in the headlights. Uh, we are running the rigid pods uh, for uh, when we're off-roading at night. Not that this sees much off-road, but you know when we do go off-roading with it, we got that. We did we did uh, do a gunmetal gray on the insert of the grill. I think it just looks really sharp. A lot of guys take and do these in white or they color match them to the truck. I kind of like the gunmetal gray. I think it just offsets it. Um, we are running uh skyjacker uh dual steering stabilizer kit with the the g2 uh front and rear diff covers on it uh if we kind of come around the side here <clears throat> i'm running 20 inch hostile alpha uh, chrome wheels on 37 11 50 20 inch nitto uh trail grapplers i went with 11 50s because i didn't want the 12 50s to stick out over the tires I, I kind of like the way they just kind of, they tuck in real well that, and it looks more uniform. <clears throat> we are running dual Fox 2.0 reservoir shocks. I am on a uh, Skyjacker six inch lift that I actually took the lift after I got it put on the car or on the truck. And I had it leveled because I was still sitting a little cockeyed. So I took it to a local automotive spring shop. I had to measure out the truck and they, they actually uh, uh, bent the, the leaf springs a little bit to get it. So it sits pretty level right now. I'm super happy with the outlook of the truck. Um, this is the original paint on the truck. Uh, you'll see that in the pictures, there's a lot of little flaws in it, but I kind of like it. I, I, it gives it character. I'm running the uh, newer 04. 5 to 07 uh, 6 liter badges on it. I think it just cleans up the look of the truck. I've done this to just about every one of my OBSs that I've owned. I get a lot of compliments on it. <clears throat> We're running uh, four, uh, 4 inch wide steps on it. Uh, the funny thing about this is I actually had to have the brackets special built for it to lower the steps down so that Mrs. Import Motoring could get in and out of the truck. Uh, this was one of her requests because she's uh, five foot nothing. And so when she, uh, when she goes with me, we had to do something so she could get in and out of the truck. So that was, that was to appease her. Um, we are running the pro comp traction bar setup on it. Again, uh, I really, really love the way it looks. It just, it gives it such a great look. Um, when I was building this truck, I was building it to, to work the truck, uh, to haul stuff. Over the years, I've, I've bought other trucks that I serve as my work truck, so this doesn't really get worked out much. It just basically tows Mrs. Import Motoring's boat around in the summer, and that's about it. Um, we are running, again, the, the Fox uh, 2.0 uh, shocks in the rear. I do have the Firestone 5,000-pound uh, airbags on it <clears throat> with the airlift with the airlift bags, actually. the And then we are running um, the Horn Blaster train. Uh, this is the Nightmare Conductors Edition on the uh on the horns with the uh, uh five gallon tank if i remember right so uh again i need to give a, sh a shout out to the guys that helped me build this truck this was a truck of, of multiple people so one of the first people that really helped me build it is travis at tracks customs actually tracks customs themselves because they helped me do the lift kit on it they helped me do uh the stereo on it we'll get into this in the inside here in a little while uh the guys are just super great travis actually fabricated these um lights for me these are complete only set of lights that i've seen like it i know there's other ones out there travis also did the led third brake light for me if you'll notice i do have a reverse camera pointing into the bed 
that is because I was going to put a gooseneck hitch in it, but it, since then I've decided not to. Um, this, however, is my latest piece to her. This is my OBS Solutions aluminum tailgate panel. It looks like the Platinum Edition. We took this and we sent it up to our engraver. Again, I need another person I need to give a huge thank you to is uh, engraved by Austin, Austin Wagner. He took a very primitive mock-up of my sketch and went to town on it and this is the end result and the video just doesn't do it justice this this piece is just fabulous it's art we had the bare aluminum painted black then austin came through and engraved everything on here uh, and then we had it clear coated afterwards so obviously you can see it says college fund and then down here where the ford logo is it says money well spent Again, a huge thank you to Austin. Austin has actually engraved multiple pieces for me. He, the one that he's done the most to, I would say, is my show car. And we're going to actually show that here in a few more episodes because he's working on a few more things for that. And the car's getting ready for show season. Again, we're running, obviously, another backup camera for the bumper. I'm running my Anderson 8-inch uh, drop hitch for it. If you look down, you can get a good shot of the, a good shot of the, the rear diff cover. I am actually running uh, a MBRP um, four-inch exhaust on it, uh, and again, you can just as you're as we're walking around the truck, you'll be able to see some of the little flaws in, in that. And, and, but again, it gives a character in my mind. Um, and if I open the tailgate up, you'll see the you'll see it's been we've rhino lined it. Um, and then I had Travis at Tracks Customs. He did a custom LED bed lights uh, setups for me. I'm actually going to open the door and even in the daytime these things are just super super bright. Um, and so it, at night it just lights up the, it lights up the northern sky. I really really enjoy it. Um, another thing that we run on every one of our trucks is we run the DZ uh, tailgate assists on I have them on any of my pickups even my half ton uh, lightnings and my SRT tens. We run the DZ. It just makes opening and closing the tailgate so much nicer, especially some of these trucks that have the really heavy tailgates. Um, again, if anybody is interested in having Austin do a piece for them, he's on all the social medias. You can see all of his work. You can see some of the work he's done to my car, my show car. You can see this. Uh, he did some work for another pickup that I have that Individual Creations is building for me. So if we just kind of keep walking around the side of the truck. Again, one of the things I love about this truck is a lot of guys run out and get the big tow mirrors. I like the little mirrors um, because, again, I don't really work this truck, so I feel like I don't need the big, I don't need the big, uh, I don't need the big towing mirrors on it. Um, when I tow with it, I have the little tow covers that extend it out and stuff like that. Again, just overall, I love this truck. I, you know, I've got a few things done to the hood, and we'll get into the hood and, and in the interior and things like that. Uh, building this truck has been such a joy for me um it it just really is it's they're getting harder and harder to find they're uh i mean the crazy thing about this particular truck is when i got this truck it had 319,000 miles and i've got 323,000 miles on it now and i've owned it for going on seven years so i don't drive it that often and i know a lot of people are like oh my god 319,000 miles why would you buy that truck I bought the truck because when I got it, um, come to find out the, there had been some engine work, you know, like engine maintenance work done to it, and it had a brand new rebuilt transmission in it when I got it, which was a surprise to me because I didn't know that at the time. So I just felt to myself, hey, this is going to be a great truck. We should, you know, even with the miles on it, let's go ahead and build it. When I got the truck, the truck had a contractor's rack on it that was actually welded to the bed. So we actually had to... Uh, cut it off with a torch and then and then uh clean up the bed and everything like that and, and rhino line the bed so but yeah this is the exterior of it again i love the truck we'll show you the interior and we'll show you the uh under the hood here shortly uh, i have big plans for that for this truck uh over the next year or so and we'll just kind of go into that here pretty soon as well So we actually changed locations for the interior and the engine shot. So now that we're to our new location, uh, I just want to take a second and show you uh, the engine bay of the truck. I actually run SMB cold air intakes on all of my diesels, actually on all of my trucks that I can. 
I'm running a Banks uh, inner cooler system on it with the piping powder coated red. I really like the, the system. It really just kind of uh, makes the truck pop when you open the hood. Uh, we are going to be working on doing cleaning up the under hood, uh, whether uh, the heat shield and stuff like that. I want to get uh, a new one made for it and make sure that it's all like it's supposed to be. Again, now that the sun's out a little bit more, you can kind of see the gunmetal gray uh, in the uh, the grill insert, to, it kind of makes it pop now that it's actually out in the sun. So we're just going to kind of move to the interior here real quick. Uh, one of the things I love about the truck is I love the fact that it's got the edge tuner up there on the windshield. Uh, and then uh, I'm running the Hydra uh, six, uh, six position tuner on it. I usually run the truck in three or four. If I'm towing, I run it in three. If I'm just mobbing around town, I do it in four. Um, again, the interior in this truck was actually really, really good. The one thing I did do, again, this is another Mrs. Import motoring feature, is we added the heated seats to it for, for the wintertime when we're driving the truck around. But when I got the truck, the interior was in pretty good shape. Uh, one of the, on a side note, one of the funny things I did was I actually had a parts one of these laying around, and I took the back windows out of that one, and I put them uh, into this truck, so that none of the glass was tinted. So when I took it to my windshield guy or my tent guy, my tent guy could tint all the windows the same so they weren't distorted. So, and another cool OBS feature that a lot of guys will probably see is the fact that I have the original cup holder for it. Those are super hard to come by. We actually took the uh, ashtray out of the back of the center console and we uh, turned it into a media uh, charging station. And then of course we're running the, uh, 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 audio vox 10 inch drop down from the head or from the roof and then i'm running uh, two tens uh in all new mids and highs in it all running off a of five channel amp we're actually getting ready to modify that a little bit we're going to do a bed box in the truck because i again this truck i don't work it anymore i just use it for play so we just want to keep it that way so i actually will be selling all of the interior out of this truck later on this year because we are going to be doing the obs uh solutions um uh, 08 to 2012 uh, seat upgrade. Another thing, a big shout out to o OBS Solutions. We're running, along with the tailgate panel, we are running the sill plates and the scuff plates all the way around, powder coated gloss black. I absolutely love that company. Great company to work with. Can't wait to order their uh, Super Duty seat kit upgrade and then just anything else I can get for the truck this year. Pioneer fold out double din. We're going to be using the OBS Interiors new dash pad to get me the ability to do the double din. Uh, I'm excited about doing that. I think that's one of the greatest things for this truck is the ability to run a double din in it versus a, a fold out single din. So uh, a few more things. Again, I have big plans for this truck. I'm trying to take it to the no BS OBS show in August over in Portland for, that OBS solution puts on. Uh, we are trying to have a few things done for the truck by then, so just stay tuned uh, and we'll have more content for it. Thanks for watching, and again, this was my 1996 uh, OBS F350 pickup. If you liked what you saw, please hit the subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, hit the like button. And if you really want to more, see more content when I do more content on the truck, uh, hit the notification bell and that'll let you know when I do more content. I have a lot of cars in my inventory. I absolutely love this one the most. If I had to pick a favorite, this would be my favorite one. And there's a reason why. Uh, and again, I really hope that uh, you guys liked the video. And again, until next time, we at Import Mortaring drive our inner passion. And we always hope that you do as well. Thank you.